Before I start today's episode of Wrestling Talk, real quick, guys, go check out Matt Hamilton's channel. Get him to 90 subscribers. All right, I know that's going to be somewhat impossible considering this channel is almost to 90 subscribers. We're almost there. So pretty much I think but when I put out this video, I may or may not hit my 90th. We may not hit our 90th subscriber. I don't know yet, but please go subscribe to Matt Hamilton when you have the chance to. Let's get on with the video. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, well deserved. What's good YouTube, this is Austin Sweet here. And you're watching this Sweet Life to go to Austin. Welcome back to the channel guys, and first of all, happy Wednesday everyone. Is today Wednesday, Dakota? Dakota. Well, is today Wednesday? Yes. Okay. Happy Wednesday to everyone out there. How's everyone doing? It is a very gloomy day here in Ohio, but I am gonna go ahead and brighten your guys' day with a new episode of Wrestling Talk. That's right. This is episode three of Wrestling Talk. We are still in the second season. Just so you know. Um, real quick, I'm actually going to be doing a rant. I'm actually going to vent out some frustration here. <coughs> it's going to be on Crown Jewel and why WWE should not be doing this. Okay. I'm actually going to give some reasons why. It's going to be like unlimited. So, First of all, the reason why... Crown or WWE is doing the shows in Saudi Arabia is they can build like star potential they can like make money off it they can make big bucks off it that's all they want and that's all Vince wants anyways is just the money he doesn't care about the wrestlers he doesn't care about what happens behind the scenes he just cares about the money that's why another reason is half the matches are lackluster look at last year's crown jewel oh my god don't even get me started started on that with Goldberg losing to The Undertaker, a spear, jackhammer, tombstone. Goldberg allegedly said he knocked himself out and the match ended with a choke slam. Just no. That's something that, that shouldn't happen. Um, and another thing is they bring in like big name celebrities like Tyson Fury, Cain Velasquez, for this big event. I mean, I understand that WWE superstars are getting money off it, but you're paying the celebrities half the time more money than the wrestlers themselves. Wrestlers break their backs, they break their butts 365 days a year, 24-7, to get to get to where they are today. I just don't get it. And even worse, it's getting worse now because the match card is not looking that good. We have a five-on-five -five tag team match. We got Rollins competing against The Fiend. We have Tyson Fury and Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar versus Kane Velasquez for the WWE title. I mean, it's kind of obvious that Undertaker's going to be there. And that's another reason. Why have The Undertaker wrestle in Saudi Arabia and not WrestleMania. Like, granted, he wasn't at WrestleMania 35 because he wanted to come up to come on the next night on Raw and shock the WWE Universe. I get that. But at the same time, though, don't go and book Roman, not Roman, uh, Undertaker to wrestle in Saudi Arabia. If I was you, WWE, I'd keep Undertaker for WrestleMania. Because that's what he's known for. That's what he does. Is he wrestles at WrestleMania. <laughs> Here's another problem that I have. The show goes for too long. I don't want to sit there and watch two to three hours of wrestling. Granted, it's on TV every week. But still, I don't want to sit there through a boring show and not get any satisfaction off it I mean it's just ridiculous for one <coughs> I mean there was only one good crown jewel I remember and that was when DX came out of retirement In my opinion the Brothers of Destruction shouldn't have lost but at the same time though you gotta think WWE is trying to make a profit 
No fan base equals no ratings, no profit, even worse, no money. But WWE just needs to stop going to Saudi Arabia for these shows. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, just stay here in the States and do what you guys do. Entertain the people, for gosh sakes. I mean, good grief. How hard is it to ask? It's not that hard. I already know this crown jewel is going to flop. I mean, you got Rollins on Raw. You got The Fiend on SmackDown. Like, what kind of sense makes that? Is The Fiend going to win the Universal title and take it over to SmackDown? And have Lesnar jump to Raw? I mean, I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. Crown Jewel is annoying. I don't like it. It's a poor idea on WWE's part. Just ridiculous. And that'll do it for this episode of Wrestling Talk, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. What do you guys think? It's now your guys' turn. What do you guys think about it? About Crown Jewel? Sound off in the comments below. And don't forget, if you guys... Uh, like me on Facebook, I'm part of SWA Pro Wrestling Chat Group. Be sure you guys follow me over there. I, like, post on there every now and then. So, yep, that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to follow me on SWA Pro Wrestling Chat Group on Facebook. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave your feedback in the comments. And above all else, subscribe, shout out the bell, turn all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Be sure you guys go and subscribe to Matt Hamilton because he needs the subscribers, guys. He needs the support. Without your guys' support, he can't do YouTube videos like me and Dakota can. So please, go subscribe to Matt Hamilton. If you do, if you made it this far in the video, let's make up a safe word. Hmm. Tombstone. If you made it this far in the video, use the safe word tombstone and let me know that you subscribe to Matt Hamilton. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next video. Hey.